Good day, campers. Today I'm going to replace the kitchen sink drain in our RV. While this should be a pretty straightforward task, there are some people that do it incorrectly, like the person at the factory that installed the kitchen sink in my momentum. A quick note here. The sink drain is one of the few things in many RVs that is really the same as in a sticks and bricks except in most cases the one in an RV is plastic where the one in your sticks and bricks is either brass or stainless steel. The reason I'm changing this drain is because it was installed incorrectly at the factory, making it hard to keep clean. Since the drain has to be removed so I can clean and reinstall it correctly, I've decided to replace it with the drain, replace the drain with a stainless steel one for my hardware store. A little show and tell here. This is the new drain. As you can see, it has a mounting nut, a friction gasket, and a rubber gasket. The drain in my camper is installed with the rubber gasket between the drain and the sink. While it might seem logical to do it that way, the instructions that came with my new drain clearly shows the rubber gasket under the sink with the friction gasket between the rubber and the mounting nut and plumber's putty between the drain and the sink. Some people use silicone instead of plumber's putty. First thing, of course, is to remove the old drain. Here we are through the magic of video, underneath the sink where all the work takes place. First thing we're gonna need to do is remove the tailpipe. Most of this stuff needs to be just slightly more than finger tight, so it'll come right off. I'm gonna slide the tailpipe down so that it's out of the way. I've also purchased the tool for removing this nut, mostly for putting the new one back on. So that it ends up straight when I put it all back together. As you can see, the only thing down here is the friction gasket and it's deformed because of the way it was installed. In fact, um, it has crud on it because it's really not sealing correctly. Next thing we'll do is remove the drain from the top. So I'm going to use silicone instead of plumber's putty. The reason being my goal is to have as small a lip between the sink and the drain while still having a good watertight seal. Silicone will allow me to do that where the plumber's putty is going to tend to be a little bit thicker. Don't be afraid to use plenty of silicone. We'll clean off the excess once everything is tight. All right, so the drain is now in the opening of the sink. I have cleaned all the excess silicone from the lower side so that the nut will tighten correctly. This goes together with rubber gasket, friction gasket, and then the nut. If you go backwards a little bit and get the nut started, it goes right on. Now, this is the primary reason that I bought that little $15 tool is because now when I tighten this, the drain is gonna stay centered in the sink instead of moving and if you hold the bottom 
that also helps keep it centered. Make sure this is fairly tight so that you don't have any leaks. And we raise the tailpipe back up. Make sure you have the gasket from the kit installed. I use these pliers because they're a little easier to handle than the tool that's supposedly made for that particular project. And then tighten the bottom back into place. Last step will be to clean the top. All right, now that everything's installed and tight from the bottom, we want to make sure that we clean up any excess silicone from the top while it's still pliable and soft and easy to clean. Otherwise, things will stick to that silicone over time. As you can tell, we have very, very little lip. It almost looks like metal touching metal even though there's a thin coat of silicone under there. And that's all there is to it. As long as you assemble it in the correct order, you should get years of clean, trouble-free service from your sink drain. I've installed command hooks under the sink for my sink tool, since storage is limited in an RV, and under the sink is where it would be needed. Thanks for watching, and as always, please remember to like and subscribe.